Hello, hello, my water signs. We are on Cancer. How is it going, Cancer? We do have the cleansing uh, incense going. We are going to light some Palo Santos. And we are going to get an energy check-in for Cancer, which is our water signs of Cancer. Um, and with the solar eclipse, event going on for the next year it is imperative that you take what resonates with you and let the let rest go because this full moon that is coming up on october 28th is a lunar event which is going to make it most powerful but it is the full moon in taurus okay so this is all about providing this is all about the understanding this is all about working out that stubbornness okay so we're going to get some palo santos it's not going to be a long video. We're going to do an energy check-in, find out kind of what's going on. And anybody who is new wanting to come in at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time every night, I go live with our soul family. Come join us. Take the messages that resonate with you when it comes to, you know, it's something completely different than the energy check-ins with the zodiac signs. But come in because Central Standard Time on the Eastern side, it would be 8 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time would be 6 p.m. And the West Coast would be 5 p.m. So make sure you stop in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that little notification bell. Make sure you share it so it gets to our fellow, our fellow Cancerans. Okay, it's very important that these messages get out there, especially because of the solar eclipse lunar event. Um, I work a lot with the animal totems along because I'm very high on the seraphim of the realms of walking in the existence with our father. So make sure that you follow along, take what resonates, do not try to make something fit. Okay. If it's not your story, uh -uh, don't put it in your book. Okay. It's like you putting on a shoe that don't fit. You're going to cause blisters. You're going to cause turmoil and havoc in your life. So Let's find out what is going on for cancer. Father, what do we need to know for cancer? Ooh, you got judgment, okay? So there is some type of renewal, cancers. You need to put something to rest. And what I'm hearing is you got to come more into your heart space because you hold a lot of your emotions back, okay? And you need to put that to rest. You need to become more deeply rooted and grounded. Confirmation. You need to be more deeply rooted and grounded, but you need to put it to rest because if you look at on the judgment card, the three tombs here, it's about you need to be able to become more stable and get the divine communication to help you on your journey to illuminate them emotions that are holding you back, Cancer. Ooh, yes, you need to put it to rest. You need to put it to rest with the Four of Swords, Cancers. This is for your own stability. It's like you need to illuminate because this is something, even though there's four of swords, okay? Father wants me to show you that these four of swords, you've been in your mental mind when it comes to some type of heartbreak, okay? Some type of connection, some type of loved one who has crossed over, um, who has made you very cold, Okay, but the thing is, is you see how down here you are turning your head to that emotion. This is the, the ace, it would represent the ace of swords. Okay, and that would be the clarity that you need in order to move forward. And that's why Father is saying he is bringing judgment on you right now to be able to have that compassion, that understanding to your emotional side to come back to your heart space and let things flow naturally, okay? You're trying too hard to make things happen, all right? So what do we else do we need to know for Cancer? What else do we need to know for Cancer? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so Cancers, this is telling me that lately you've been putting a lot of work into your job, okay? But the thing is, is Father is wanting, you see the needle and thread? He is wanting you to put more work into the tapestry of your garment on your spiritual side, okay? He's wanting you to understand that you need to make some changes and that you need to put your old ways to rest. Ooh, 
and my nose just itched for divine masculine okay what else do we need to know for the cancers father yeah there was an earth angel that you were massively in love with okay and you were really hurt because you are now seeing that even though this relationship has been put to rest it's like you still have feelings for this person you are now seeing that you are wanting to put other things to rest and possibly come back and put the hard work into the relationship because you're seeing cancer that this is a person who really came from their heart who really understood you spiritually when it came to your emotions and the things that you were going through what else do we need to know for cancers please wow yeah the four of wands and the five of cups it's like this person really felt like home to you and it's like ever since they have left ever since that friendship has kind of come to an end or you've switched communities or whatever it may be it's like the home that you had with this person you felt like home it's like this person truly understood you you had complete happiness with an earth angel And when I see 44, this is the Ascended Masters coming out saying that you are also very abundant with this person. And it was a very powerful connection. It's like you had each other's back, but the communication was lacking. The communication was lacking. Cancer, you were hiding too many things. You were hiding too many things. What else do we need to know, Father? What else do we need to know? Yeah. Told you you were hiding too many things you suspended so many things from this person that you started suspending your love and everything you started you know taking away that compassion and and being somebody that you were not okay what else do we need to know for cancer yeah now you're wanting to come back and communicate about a new beginning it's like you you want a new beginning with this person it's like when i see the hawk come in it's like you want that clarity you want that understanding you want that truth that clear vision now to see <clears throat> because it took you a while to see okay eight eight is very significant when it comes into the um big change okay there's a big change that has taken place where you have undergone and seen now that wow this person was really for me okay so you could be seeing 12 12 a lot on the clock and that is the master teacher you know father our our lord jesus christ that is the master teacher coming in and saying pay attention because i am putting things to rest because this earth angel was the one that was meant for you Okay, and it could be that on July 2nd to July 4th is when you met this person. When you met this person and you never separated from this person. Okay, you could have been married eight years. You could have been dating for four months before you got married. Okay, but there's some type of communication because you have suspended communication with this person because you have been spreading lies about this person you've been spreading lies about this earth angel and it's like now you want to come in and communicate a new beginning it's like you realize that you have messed up okay what else do we need to know for cancers yeah you want to bring it into calmer waters because now you see the growth of this person and now you're trying to grow so you're you're simulating each other when it comes to the growth what else do we need to know for cancer eight of swords there it is making that change coming out of isolation and making that change okay so you could also be seeing 888 which i'm going to show you here you could be seeing 888 which is finding that balance and that wealth coming back in to who you are as a couple see and you could be heartbroken because you hear my dog just cry 
She was just crying. Yeah. And that will be your victory if you do the right thing. Because look, you're getting the clarity by coming out of that isolation and stop contemplating the compassion that you have for this person. Okay, what else do we have for cancer? What else do we need to know for cancer, Father? Yeah. See, when you were with this person, your life became very abundant. Things started changing. I'm hearing something about that could have been the last time that you were in prison also. Because this person really brought you that stability to achieve, to be better, to put in that hard work, to stop going to the penitentiary. And you put that to rest. You put all that other stuff to rest because you were like, you don't want to keep living that way. You, you made changes to better yourself. And that's finding that true balance. But yeah, this, this empress, look, the empress and the emperor and the lovers and the sun card all at once. This was your soulmate. This was a person that you were meant to be with. Okay, so C and 8 again. So you could be C and 8888, which is massive wealth and balance. But I'm also getting the spiritual enlightenment. It's like the more you try to push this person away, the more that your heart and soul crave this person. Okay, what else do we need to know for cancer? Yeah, we got 9 of Wands and the 10 of Swords. So this person persevered forward you know they had the resilience to persevere forward and bring things into fruition of what was going on but they were no longer carrying the burden or taking responsibility for the things that you have done now you can almost see how father is saying everything that has burdened you it's almost exactly the same timing on there okay it's almost exactly the same timing, 8989, which is brought down to the angel mastery number of that massive change, massive balance. Okay, what else do we need to know? Yeah, it's like now you're hushed about it because, see, this person was destined to be in your life. And you could not stop juggling cancer. You could stop, you could not stop juggling. Yeah. You were so comfortable and satisfied of juggling instead of putting things to a completion. But see, this person knew. They knew what was going on. They had clear thinking because they got the truth from Father that was going on because they are a high priestess and they illuminated every dark thing that you were doing. And they said, nope, I deserve a new beginning. And Father says, yeah, you're right, you do. So this is all about coming into the nostalgia of who you are. So I'm telling you, it's like it pays to do the right thing. It pays to be a man, you know, or be that woman. You know, if you're with somebody, don't go out there and stray elsewhere. Yeah, look, the Ace of Pentacles. This is being able to manifest. This is about breaking them addictions that you had from cheating and lying and sneaking around to being able to bring everything into fruition and have gratitude for the journey that you were on with this person because this person actually helped you and instead you were so willing to walk away you created the own tower moment in your own life which created a lot of conflict and a lot of burdens to you and you were like wait a minute all this tension that I'm feeling, I'm going to blame it on this person, right? You can't do that because in the community, people see exactly what you're doing. You're living the same lifestyle, jumping from person to person to person. So it's like karmic lesson after karmic lesson after karmic lesson, Cancer. What else do we need to know, Father? Yeah, King of Wands, I'm telling you. It's like 
with the death card? Yeah. And the three of swords? Yeah. And the seven of wands? Mm-hmm. That means that every vision that you have, everything that you try to build brings you heartache because it brings you back to this person about being able to put a rest to it. You know, this is about putting a rest to what happened. It's like coming back in to what you did, but father put a spiritual block on you. So it's like every time you try hard, there's always some type of negative toxic energy because you need to be able to transmute that, what you're doing. You need to be able to battle through these burdens and take responsibility and accountability for your actions so that you can go from that immature comfort that you had and step into who you are truly meant to be. And that's that, that person who made the growth, who can give and receive in a relationship instead of just take, take, take. Yeah, look, instead of just take, 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 it's like, they can't sit and take care of you all the time. You you have to man up. Yeah. Because it's like you were in contemplation. Does this person even love me? And it's like there was no choice to be made. It's like things were balanced out, but you put yourself in stagnation because you decided to cheat yourself and steal and rob from this that puts you in a lot of depression. Okay? Put you in a lot of depression in this connection because it was like... You did it to yourself. Okay, last final message. Knight of Cups, baby. I'm telling you, look at that. Knight of Cups, okay? Now you're wanting to come back in, Cancer, and you're wanting to make your wrongs right, and you're wanting to let this person know <clears throat> how much you do truly love them. Okay, hold on. When my right ear starts ringing and I go through the list of names, it tells me who's talking about me. Yeah, because look, you were the emperor and the empress together. It's like you were very powerful together and you threw it all away, threw it all away because you couldn't change your player ways. So that's what father is saying. It's like you need to put that to rest and he's helping you put it to rest. He's actually forcing it to go to rest because... Everything that you try seems like you're having to rebuild over and over and over and over again. And it's like, he, you need to find that stability and that balance. So that is your message, Cancers. Sending lots of love and light. Again, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that little notification bell so you know when I go live. I'm going to finish up Scorpio's read, and then I will jump on my live. So come join us at Bunny Love L U V 444. And it's very significant for why my channel is named that way. Um, because bunnies represent the mysticism and the mysterism of a spiritual being. And it's all about the unconditional love on your spiritual awakening. So it's helping you step into yourself. And come into calmer waters because the knight of pentacles is all about being efficient and seeing the spiritual routine of what you need to do in order to make your life better you can come out of the darkness into the light and it is going to give you a better life it is going to show you your way it's going to illuminate i'm telling you can't make it up right all right love you cancers peace